Shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles who teach us the truth of this Bible, and citation to elect pushing his word to best your ability. Here, console. <clears throat> our brother just sent a uh, a uh, article out in the group text. Basically, uh, there's been all kind of like freeway shootings around here, you know. All kind of people just getting shot in their car, whether they were sitting or whatever, you know. And I was just, just meditating, you know, thinking, you know, these people don't have no, uh, these people don't have any love for no, for each other, you know. These people are always talking about, oh, I, lo I love you, man, or this or that. You know, hey, and they, they don't even know the, uh, the definition of love. So let's, uh, let's get into it today, you know. This is... St. Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Come. So the uh, love that these people so-called had for each other, you know, is, is waxing even colder and colder every day. You know, you've seen all kind of, uh, especially out here, you've seen all kind of uh, uh, stories of robbing, people robbing each other. Uh, stories of... Uh, all kind of people getting shot on the freeway, shot on the uh, the streets, wherever, you know. It's all kind of, uh, I was just watching a story uh, earlier where it was this, um, this uh, neighborhood where these, these Edomites had like these cameras on the front doorstep. And it'll show uh, somebody coming, uh, <laughs> it'll show like a female coming to the door, you know. Had handcuffed, was handcuffed and everything, was knocking on the door, you know, had a scared look on their face, was trying to look like they was trying to get some help, you know, but, <laughs> hey, they didn't, uh, through three of the incidents that they showed, you know, none of them opened the doors, and then one of them, a female had, uh, had her gun, she's like, I got my gun, I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a shoot you, whatever, you know, you back in the day, you, it wouldn't, uh, it, it wouldn't, you wouldn't hear stories like that, you know. People back in the day would open their doors, you know, and, and be like, "Hey, come in," you know. Well, what do you need? Hey, man, the love of these these people, you know, that they so called have for each other, it's just getting even waxing even colder and colder, you know. So let's read this again. This is uh, Saint Matthew's twenty four and twelve, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So, hey, like, it's, well, there's just so many examples where all that is uh, taking place, you know. People not wanting to, uh, people not wanting to help anybody. Now, hey, like I said, these people are on edge, you know. I think uh, they say there's, these people are like one paycheck away from being homeless, you know. And that's clear to see because more, more and more homeless people are popping up all the time. You know, they probably, uh, they probably were doing fine and just all of a sudden one, the next week, you know, homeless. And, uh, you know, see out here, the people, um, the homeless people in the, uh, in the, uh, people in the neighborhood, you know, the people who live in the neighborhood where the homeless people are, are parking their RVs and stuff, you know, they're like, we don't, we don't want you here, you know, we want you out of our neighborhood. You know, so these people don't have no damn love. For each other but the love that they did had the little love that they did so-called love that they had you know was just waxing worse and worse so let's go uh let's get the real definition of love because you know these people these people believe that that love is is going out you know going out to the neighborhood and, and handing out bread to everybody you know handing out bread or uh Bread and water, food and water, you know, and helping the homeless, helping feed them, you know, bringing a, a homeless person into your house and letting them take it, allowing them to take a shower or something like that. You know, that's, that's not love, you know, that, uh, that, that, uh, <laughs> that fuzzy feeling that you feel inside, you know, that's, that's not love, man. This is the love right here. This is, uh, first John five and three for this is the love of the most high 
that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. Come. So, you know, these commandments are only for the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, not the not you other nations, man. You know, and our people, our people we know are rebellious as hell. They don't they don't want to uh they don't want to follow the the uh the most uh, easiest one on there. They don't want to follow that. You know, they just go by uh they just say oh their pastor said that uh they don't have to uh do this or do that. You know, they'll just get a Christian breakdown. Of how to live their life. So they could uh, skate on easily. But like I said. It says. It says uh, the commandments are not grievous. Let's uh, look into that word grievous. Let me see. Uh, five and three. Strong's G nine twenty six, Barus. 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 Okay, so it says the word is is Barus, and it says heavy in weight, burdensome. You know, so this. So the following the commands, you know, is not a uh, uh, a burden. It should not be a burden to our people, you know. It should not be a, a weighty, a heavy in weight. You know, severe, you know, weighty, cruel. It says cruel right here. You know, it shouldn't be a, a cruel. It says that the commandments are not grievous, you know. It's not a, it's not cruel, you know. But, uh... Get back to the point. No, so. But, um, let me see. That's what I'll do is good, too. But there's a scripture that basically says, Knowest who thou do is good to know who thou do good to. There we go. There we go. It's rock right, twelve and one. It's rock right, twelve. Come on, man. Come, so no, you don't know. Uh, you know you you, uh, you think that you're doing the right thing by passing out food to all these people. You don't know what the hell, what the hell these people uh did to 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 get to where they at. You know, you passing out damn bread to a, 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 a sex offender or something. You know, you never know. Says uh, Sirach twelve and one, when thou will do good. Know to who thou doest it, so shalt thou be thanked for thy benefits. Do good to the godly man, and thou shalt find a recompense. Kind of, so, you know, to a godly man, you know, a man who, who's, who's doing this work, you know, to the best of his ability, you know, that's, that's a godly man. You know, a uh, godly man, the man who has this correct doctrine, you know, that's, that's, Praising Yahweh by Shimmy Howell Shai, you know, not not none of these other names, you know, not Jesus, not not the uh, Jesus the Christ, whatever, you know, not not none of these other uh these false false gods, man, or none of these damn idols, you know. So it says uh, Sirach twelve and two, do good to the godly man, and thou shalt find a recompense, and if not from him, yet from the Most High. John, so. Now you do some, you know, hey, you you want to uh, hand out some water or something, you know, go to your, uh, your nearest camp, some hand out, hand out water to the, to some of the men of the Lord that be out there on either Saturday, Friday, whatever they go out in your, uh, in your town, 
You know, not to uh, just any damn random person on the street, you know. You don't know who the, who these people are, you know. And there's the Most High. Well, it says Most High make it rich and he make it poor. So who uh, who put them in this position in the first place, man? You know, how about some of shy put them in that place? That's That's their lot, you know. So, uh, let me see, uh, yeah, kind of, so, you know, you do good to a gully, man, you know, he may not, uh, have the, uh, the means or whatever to, to repay you or whatever, you know, the most high, most high will bless you, you know, you, you came sincere, like, you know, the, the most high will bless you, you know, some way, somehow, so you see, uh, there can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil, nor to him that give it no alms. Give to the godly man and help not a sinner come. Because regardless of what the Christians say, you know, it clearly says, it clearly says most high hate sinners, you know. It don't say he hates the sin. He hates sinners. It don't, it doesn't make sense, you know. You know, we're going to, uh, we're going to find that, we're going to find that. Oh, what? Oh, that's a spirit. Okay, kind. That's a spirit. Slacky. But uh, let's go back to that. Uh, it's a Sirach 12 and 4. Give to the godly man and help not a sinner. Ah, so like I said, you know, to one of the men of the Lord that's, that's doing his work, you know, in sincerity. And, and not, uh, so I can help not a sinner, you know. So you over here, you think that um, you're showing love by passing out all kind of uh, water and food, you know, to some damn uh, to some damn uh, sinners, you know. There's some motherfuckers uh, over here. Uh, what's it called? Um, bound down to some some idols, you know. And uh, hey, you're not you're not supposed to be uh giving to them i mean you're not supposed to be helping them out you know that's sucky says uh sirach 12 and 5 do well unto him that is lowly but give not to the ungodly hold back thy bread and give it not unto him lest he overmaster thee thereby for else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him God, so you are helping sinners, man. You no, know, Most High will, uh, the Most High will, uh, Most High will deal with you. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying, uh, say like a, a family member, especially a near family member, you know, say like your mom or dad, you know, they might eat pork, you know, they might, uh, eat, uh, what is it called, shrimp and stuff like that, you know. I'm not talking about that, you know. You know, if they and uh, somebody in your immediate family, you will, is in need of some way, you know, hey, hey, they're not saying that not to help them out. But, you know, some, uh, you know, hey, say you got like this uh, homosexual cousin or some shit like that, you know. He want to help out. Hey, don't help, don't help that motherfucker out, man, you know. Let him, uh, hey, 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 hey. Lord willing, the, the most high will kill that, that dude, you know. But, uh, yeah, so basically the point, you know, you, uh, you helping sinners, you know, the most high gonna, uh, hey, you think you're gonna, you know, in this world, you think that you're gonna get good, hey, you're gonna get twice as, twice as much evil. So let me see, uh, so this is a scripture that I was looking for. Sirach 12 and 6, for the most high hated sinners. Damn, I thought he hated the, uh, the sin, you know. It says, Sirach 12 and 6, for the most high hated sinners, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly, and keep it them against the mighty day of their punishment. Time. So, hey, it's, it's clear, that's clear right there, you know. 
You know, if you never heard that scripture before, hey, it's Rock 12 and 6. Most I hated sinners. Give unto the good and help not the sinner. Huh. So that's pretty much the point of that. Uh, you know, but pretty much the point I want to make, you know, is just the, the love these people once had, so-called had, you know, the so-called love that they had for each other, you know, wasn't true love, you know. Following other commandments is true love, you know. And uh, basically the point I want to make was, you know, the, the so-called love that these people have for each other, you know, is just waxing colder and colder, you know. It says the scriptures, you know, that's that's the time that we in right now, and it's only gonna it's only gonna get worse. It's only gonna uh, amplify, you know. We just want to put out there, you know, what the true meaning of love is, you know. So I hey, uh, just want to say the Wadi Al Bashmi Al Shai for putting the Holy Spirit on me, the Krakadash to do this lesson, double honor to all elders and apostles for teaching us the truth of this Bible, in citation to the leg pushing's word the best of your ability. Shalom.